train, remember that the center was already oiled, the barrel was already oiled, and the uh, um, uh, escape, and the, uh, so now we're going to flip the movement over and we're going to oil the train side. Okay, so now a little bit of different setup because we don't have a cannon pinion with the pre-oiled uh, center and the and the. Um, I'm gonna clean my oiler. Let's see how close you can get with the camera. And we're gonna keep working on this. We're gonna get closer and closer and closer. I know that there's some other YouTubers who have great camera equipment. The boy's still learning. We'll get there. Actually, I've had an idea while we're videoing this today. So. What we've got here is a video that's kind of an overlook of um, taking the movement apart and putting it back together. Because we're doing another 3135 tomorrow, what we're going to do is switch to a different camera with a macro lens and do little three minute snippets of these fiddly parts super up close. I just did the, the uh, center and I'm doing the third. And I'm not getting any oil on the shoulder, which makes me very happy. And then I'm doing the great wheel. That's it. Now we got to do the challenge. I'm going to put a little bit of oil over here where the uh, ratchet driving wheel Is gonna go and we're gonna do another escape wheel I'm sorry another escape uh, jewel and the watch is stopped by the way so that'll make life easier and you just don't want to pry too hard on this spring these little tiny movements and use a high powered loop to do it. The high powered loop helps you make tiny movements because you're looking at everything so big. So I got the jewel out. I'll take a look at it here again. See how clean it is. It's actually really clean. It's because I have a bowl of a Watchmaster Mark II cleaner. It's old school it's like a hemi head and I actually have too much oil on the oiler and I know that'll get me in trouble so I took some off and I'm happy and now I'm going to pick that jewel up with my fine tweezer and I'm gonna make sure my spring is out of the way you know like standing and I'm gonna flip that jewel in my tweezer just like that and set them down in the hole <coughs> now um, some guys oil the jewel and put the the jewel on dry yeah, I think that's what I've seen on videos. But is there a danger in doing that that you don't know that the oil's gone in a perfect It's hard line? to see, but I mean, obviously, if you can pick the jewel up and flip it the way I did, you know. I mean, I know that it takes a lot of practice to pick that jewel up with the tweezer and not drop it in the balance. <laughs> You know, but <laughs> now we're going to do the, the balance, being gentle with the prongs of the spring. Now in this case the capsule came up and the other one stayed behind but I'm still going to pick up the other one because we always want to sandwich them. A little bit of smudge had, had it stick to my um, 
tweezer so I'll clean my tweezer and get this other jewel out and then clean the jewel make sure the jewel's perfect I mean when you have this 10 power loop on you can see everything you see you know if you can't see the smudges then you really need to practice seeing if you can't see it you can't do it that's the bottom line so now we're going to put that uh, three-fifths drop on the balance right there balance cap jewel sorry need a little more just like that now if you had too much oil on your capsule it's gonna to stick to your tweezer and you're gonna know you're in trouble then you start over you got to clean that jewel get it nice and clean dry and clean and then start over so we're not making that mistake we're gonna drop this whole jewel on top just like that bring it around check it and then we're gonna drop him in place right on his pivot I turn it at an angle so I can drop him in straight just like that fell right in when the watch is running sometimes the pivot will bounce it around and you just get in trouble and today we don't want to be in trouble we just want this to, to go the way it's going that's it we have a fully lubricated um, watch on the on the uh, um, base movement without the automatic yeah, which we'll do that I'm winding this watch even more and then I'm gonna put it on the timer do you want to come around and look at the yeah, timer I'm gonna let's just see just so people can see mm -hmm. and we'll probably stop it for this one yeah, so just yeah. yeah. there we go because you gotta go yeah this is lubricated so we're expecting yeah, a pretty so good result. I expect yeah I expect wonder okay so this is dial down look at that Oh it's wow, really good stuff. It's not bad, is it? Straight away, point um, three, three plus, plus I, four I, seconds. I don't have to regulate this watch. So that's fast by five seconds a day, just straight off the Yeah, but we'll regulate it a little bit, but the thing's good to go. Yeah. 308. Now let's do dial up. It's perfect. Three seconds it's a day, probably yeah. dropped to even two. So I don't understand. Perfection. I don't understand these fellows who say, "Oh, my Rolex doesn't keep time." This thing's very happy. Oh, very happy watch. Basically, a chronometer status. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Happy, happy, happy. Awesome. So we'll do part seven or whatever. Yeah, we'll next. Get it done.